Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. This visual is showing your wise sales from all these countries. And if I will select any year for my slicer, it will dynamically show selected year, previous year, and the variance percentage. Is this really possible in Power BI? The answer is yes it is. And we will create this functionality from the scratch. Let's do that. Here I am in a new Power BI file. And as usual, I am using the Contoso database for this demo. I will need to create a measure, but before that, I will also need to create a small custom table. I can keep any appropriate name. In that I will add three columns year, year in use, and a sort order column. In column one, I will copy all my years which I have from 2013 to 2023. And then, I will copy the same years in my second column as well. Now, I will do this one more time, but this time I will copy from 2014 to 2023 in column 1, but 2013 to 2022 in column 2. I will copy these years one last time in column 1, but in column 2 I will just mention variance. You will just know in a while why I am creating this mapping and how this will help while creating my DAX expression. For sort order column, I will just add number 1 to 11 for the years and 12 for this variance. Then click on edit, which will take you to power query editor. For number column, I can use fill down to add order 12 for all blank rows. But for text column, I can use replace blank with variance. My mapping table is ready. Since this column is a text column, which I will be required to validate with my year column of the date table inside my next DAX expression, I need to convert date type of year columns as text. I will convert it to integer values when required, using it function inside my measures. Close the power query editor and be ready to create the amazing DAX measure. But before that, let me add a year slicer and a matrix visual here and understand how this looks with just existing total sales measure. So I will add country column from the customer's table as my row header. And then I will use year and use column from my newly created table for my column headers. But when I drag this column, it will throw an error because currently I have not created any relationships for this new table. I also need to apply a sort order based on my order column, so that my variance column will always be in last. From Data Modeling tab, I will create a many-to-many -many relationship between year column of this new table to year column of my date table. Don't worry, it will not create any ambiguity in this case. By the way, there are new features under Properties section to manage these relationships. I hope you are utilizing these amazing new updates. Now if I will click on the Visualization pane, I don't see any error, and I see all the years as column header now. And if I select any year from my slicer, I can see current year, previous year, and the variance column only. You might be thinking, this is it, and now you can use any measure, and it will work as expected. So let me show you by adding the current total sales measure, which will show same values for all these columns. So I have selected year 2020, and then adding total sales measure inside values section. As that you can see, this measure is showing same value for all the columns. Let me now create my master measure. Name of the measure is total sales, previous year sales with variance, all in one. I will create this measure in two parts so that you will understand its flow clearly. In first part, I will create a variable for total sales where I will write a simple DAX expression which will calculate total sales, but it will validate if year from slicer which is from date table is equal to the year in use column or not which is from newly created table let's just return the same variable as the output and see if first part is working as expected or not so i will add this new measure in my visual and it is at least working for years correctly and i need to adjust this for the variance all right now please be careful at this point because this is the most important point of this entire solution so I will edit my new measure. First of all, I will write a condition such that if my slicer is not filtered, I don't see variance column in my visual and it will show blank. The second condition is if variance is in the context, then calculate a variance, which is nothing but total sales minus previous year sales divided by previous year sales. Since my year columns are of text data type, I will convert it to integer value for this moment because to get previous year, I will need to use selected here or max your minus one. Initially, I changed the data type to text because in my first variable, 
I needed to compare my year column from date table, which is used in Slicer, with the year in use column of the new table, which also has variance as a row item. But here, I need to calculate selected year minus 1. So again, I need to convert this as integer using a DAX function. I will also use remove filters function on year column. Otherwise, I will not get previous year value because one year is already selected and table is already filtered for selected year. I will use the same expression in second argument of divide function because variance formula is current year minus previous year divided by previous year. For percentage formatting, I will be required to use a format function exclusively because the result of this entire measure will be decimal for years and percentage for variance. I will mention here the required string format for the variance. Finally, if variance is not selected, just return the total sales variable, which will calculate sales for the year in column header. Let's now test this. As that you can see, it is showing your Y's sales amount, and if I will select any year from the slicer, it shows current year, previous year, and the variance percent. If you will create separate measures for this, then column headers will not be dynamic, and it will just show the measure's name as text. But here it is dynamically changing the column headers as well. Let me now create a measure to format the variance percentage with green or red. In this measure, I will validate if selected value is variance and current year value is greater than previous year. For previous year sales, I am using the same expression for my previous measure, which I created. Then I will use green color, else I will use red color. This measure, I will use in font formatting of my variance column. I can use the same expression for negative values, which will be formatted in red color. Next is to select the visual, and click on this drop-down arrow of the measure, then select conditional formatting for font. Format type as field value. And then select the format measure as your field. It should be applied to values and totals. Click on OK, and you should be able to see the required conditional formatting. Such solution could be very useful in your Power BI projects, where you need to dynamically show the actual previous year and current year, not just the text as CY or PY. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos in Power BI. Post your feedbacks and suggestions in comment box.